Welcome to Psych Insight, where we delve into the fascinating world of psychology, applying its lens to all things, including art and literature. If you find our content insightful, please like our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share with your friends and family. Now, have you ever wondered why some individuals seem to prosper in life using questionable tactics? Today, we're delving into a particularly contentious strategy from Robert Greene's 48 Laws of Power. The 12th law, titled Use Selective Honesty and Generosity to Disarm Your Victim, promotes the use of honesty and generosity not as genuine virtues, but as strategic tools to disarm and manipulate others. This law treads a thin line between truth and deception, and if applied too overtly, can result in mistrust and harm to your reputation. Consider this thought-provoking riddle that perfectly captures the essence of this law. I give to you with one hand, the other hidden behind my back. Truth and deceit in my offer, what is it that I lack? My gift may open doors, but beware of the trap it may lay. Who am that gives and takes away? Mull over this riddle as we plunge into Law Hash 12. Use selective honesty and generosity to disarm your victim. Law Hash 12 suggests a cunning strategy, using honesty and generosity not as genuine acts, but as tools to disarm and manipulate others. But how does it work? Well, let's delve into it. This law proposes that by selectively showing honesty and generosity, you can disarm your opponent and make them more susceptible to your influence. This is because as humans, we are naturally inclined to reciprocate honesty and kindness, making us more trusting and open towards the person showing us such traits. So why the term selective? The key lies in the balance between truth and deceit. Just like a well-seasoned dish, too much of any one ingredient can spoil the whole thing. If you are too transparent with your honesty, it can lead to suspicion. On the other hand, too much deceit can damage your reputation and break the trust you've built. It's about finding the perfect balance between the two and deploying them at the right moment. Now, let's talk about the psychological aspect of this law. It's no secret that we as humans have a natural tendency to respond positively to honesty and kindness. This law exploits that very trait. By presenting a facade of honesty and generosity, one can induce a sense of security and trust in the other person. Once that trust is established, it becomes easier to manipulate the person to act in a manner that benefits you. However, one must be very careful while executing this law. It's like playing with fire. If you're not careful, you can burn yourself. If your deceit is caught, it can lead to backlash and mistrust, causing more harm than good. Also, it's important to remember that this is not about lying or cheating. It's about using honesty and generosity as tools, not as a mask to hide behind. It's about understanding and influencing human behavior to gain power, not to exploit or harm others. So, using selective honesty and generosity, one can disarm their victim and manipulate them to gain power. Let's explore further how this law is applied and its ethical implications in the next scene. Now that we understand this law, let's explore how it can be applied and its ethical implications. Consider a politician who makes a public display of donating generously to a charity, only to divert attention from a less than honest business deal. Or a business leader who shares a personal story of hardship, creating an emotional connection that is later used to influence team decisions. These are examples of Law Hash 12 in action, using selective honesty and generosity to disarm and manipulate. While it's undeniable that such strategies can be effective, they raise significant ethical questions. Is it right to manipulate others' emotions and trust for personal gain? Doesn't this contradict the principles of honesty, integrity, and respect we hold dear? In psychology, this approach is often viewed as exploitative. It's a form of emotional manipulation that plays on human tendencies to respond positively to perceived honesty and kindness. This can lead to harmful consequences, such as damaged relationships and a loss of trust. It's also worth noting that this law is a double-edged sword. If used too transparently, it can backfire and damage one's reputation. Hence, it requires a delicate balance of deceit and truth, a dance on the razor's edge of manipulation and sincerity. So while Law Hash 12 may offer a path to power, it also carries a heavy ethical price. It's a reminder that power gained through manipulation is often fleeting, and the cost can be high. Indeed, Law Hash 12 is a double-edged sword. It can help gain power, but at what cost? In summary, Law Hash 12 of the 48 Laws of Power presents a controversial strategy for gaining power. This law suggests using honesty and generosity as tools for manipulation, playing on humans' natural response to kindness.
It's a delicate dance of truth and deceit that, if misused, can lead to mistrust and reputational damage. The ethical implications are profound, as it encourages exploiting others' trust for personal gain. Remember, power can be gained in many ways, but the manner in which it is acquired can define who you truly are.